Thanks, Amanda. This morning, Austin police officers are headed to our nation's capital. It's for a dedication that hits very close to home. He was the type of friend that whenever you needed advice, he was always there. Whenever you needed help, he was always there. And um, uh, people like that are hard to find. And he was that guy. Now he's talking about his former partner, APD officer Jaime Padron. Today, his name will be added to the wall of honor. He was shot and killed while on duty last year. KXAN Sofia Bosile is live at ABIA, where the APD Honor Guard is about to take off to DC. Bye. Good morning, Sally. They should be gone by now. Their flight was at 6 o'clock. There are about 50 officers, including the Honor Guard, that are heading to D.C. to honor those who've lost their lives while on duty, including Officer Padron. And tonight we'll kick off the candlelight vigil. I pulled up the website here where you can see the candlelight that's going on, which will lead into the festivities for the rest of the week. So the officers get to watch Officer Padron's name added to the National Law Enforcement Officers Memorial. His name, along with other fallen heroes from across the nation, will be read out loud on Wednesday. Now, Officer Padron's wife, kids, siblings, and parents are already in D.C. for the dedication, and they will lay flowers at the wreath in his honor on Wednesday. President Obama will speak at the event as well. Now, last year, about 118 officers were killed in the line of duty, including Officer Padron. We spoke to one officer officer who used to work on um, Jaime Padron's shift and he said the one thing that he remembers about him is his amazing smile and his dedication to protect and serve. Uh, Jaime's tragedy is just a reminder of why we take this job. Uh, it's part of our commitment to serving the people that we serve and you know it just kind of brings it back home and let, let us know that hey this job is a serious job and we have to be committed. And again, members of the Austin Police Department Honor Guard, along with pipes and drums, will be participating and marching in the parade tomorrow and will be part of the service on Wednesday. So if you can't fly out to D.C. to be part of this, it is a way that you can participate. You can see here on my iPad, I've got this candlelight vigil up. We'll put it on our website, but you can be part of the virtual candlelight vigil in order to give back to Officer Padron. Reporting live from ABIA, Sophia Beausoleil, KXAN News. All right, Sophia, thank you. Your time check.